this is the OZN. It is again that was our let's see our buying point and selling point from last week. Uh, basically, we had the structure long above 95. 39.8530 it is now 86.97 so you're up about 160 pip on the uh, that's from the structure point from long of last week but this week we had a long point of 87 or 5 This is a very strong, even though it is a very strong close up, close for the week. We have traded above the 86.22. We broke, we tried to break below it a couple of times, only to reverse and close above it. And we closed also above the, I want to see what the 86, the, sorry, the 85. This is a breakout. That's a very good close for the uh, Aussie yen. And as you see, even though this is a week, we still closed above that, above this, the, the prior week, and above the structural point. We should be looking for a very nice move into the Aussie yen, looking going somewhere towards the 90 uh, handle. So that is one of the strongest buys and we have a very low risk kind of a trade on the Aussie yen. So we can buy it right now if we so wanted. Yeah, this is the 8619. I'm just not, I'm, uh, So if we we're not going to go short the Aussie yen unless it breaks below the 86. That's for sure. So your structure short, your short point is 86. And your structure short is the... Okay, the structure, the the short point is 86. The structure short will leave it also as the 86. Okay, and the reason I'm doing the 86, we had another point which is the 86.19, but as you see, since we had the break below the 86 last week and failure to continue to the downside, that negates the the strength. Of of this point so we're going to go with the second point this is what the market is telling us so we're going to use the 86 as our uh, selling point okay and if we look at the right there this is our sell point right here if you see on the chart so anywhere over here you guys opening Tokyo today any move to the downside over here, any trade that comes here, anywhere over here, that's a buying opportunity. You're not looking to sell it. You're looking to f you're looking for it to wait, to stop going down, and to begin to turn around and start going up, so that you can start buying it. Okay. Uh, so. Let's see what did, I, what did I do with the buying point. 87. 87.05 is our buying point. That's our. And it's important if you guys put these lines on so at least you 
I mean, I'm, pl I'm doing my planning. I'm doing a trading session tomorrow with uh, FX Street. We're trading the New York session at... Uh, we'll be logging in at half past 7 Eastern time or 12.30 uh, London time. So for the guys in the room with us, we'll be doing the uh, London, the New York session. We'll be trading all the rest of the New, York, the New York session with FX Street on the FX Street. But you can log with us if you want to. And so basically, I'm putting my lines here. So there is no reason for me to go short. Uh, if it gets above the 87, I'm looking to be a buyer of the Aussie Yen. The trend is still up to the upside. The structural points... Again, is the 86 is still intact from last week. The structure short is the 76.15 from last week, so they are all uh, we're fine with that. Okay, these are our structure long and our structure. Uh, let's pick up the stops. So if we're going to go long above 87.05, our long stop should be below 86.61, and going short below 86 our stop is 86. since this is a structure point our stop is going to be immediately above the structure point so I'm just going to put my 86 10 just give it a make it 20 86 20 just to give it a little bit just above this structure point just to give it a little bit of room okay so this is the Aussie Yen